uh, this is part four of the Is It Just Me videos. Uh, in the week that I asked my parents, where did the Spanish flu epidemic come from? Yeah, there's more guys, that's, that's the sort of week it's been. So let's get started, right? The first one is, is it just me? But sometimes I think abbreviation should be more obvious. My example of this is um, I got a little diary, not like a dear diary, dear one, I like a boy. It was a diary like that you write, number one, go to work. Number two, pick this up from the shop. Number three, go pick up your grandma from the airport. It was all simple things that you should remember, but I forget because I'm terrible. So um, I bought this diary and I write things in it for every day, a line a day sort of thing. And as when I first got it, I decided to highlight all the days off I had because that's fun and it's something to look forward to. So I went through all the bank holidays with my highlighter and went absolutely mental with it. My mum picked up and said, why are you highlighting so much? We don't have that many bank holidays. And I said, yeah, we do. I said, you just don't realise because you haven't looked at them all at once. So she took it from me. She was having a look. She was like, you're such an idiot. The moment your mum calls you an idiot is the moment you've got to worry, I think. And I said, I was like, she's going to say something now. She's going to like such an idiot. She's going to feel so dumb. She said, why have you highlighted these ones? And I said, it says bank holiday. It's a bank holiday, isn't it? She went, what do you think the IRL in brackets next to that means? And I said, I don't know. That could mean anything. That could mean irritated Randy Leopard. I don't know what that means. She said it stood for island. My face dropped, my heart dropped, and then I realised what I'd done. It's put in brackets, island only. This, this is what I do. So it was Halloween this week. I love Halloween. It was great. But last year I was home for Halloween and my dad was home. Mum wasn't here. And he said, we're shutting all the curtains, we're turning off all the lights, and we ain't answering the door. And I said, what's wrong with you? This isn't the spirit of Halloween. I was like, give the candy to the weenies. He said, no, they don't deserve sweets. You know, typical dads said, nah, I can't bother to open the door to give them sweets. Let's just pretend we're not home. I said, fine, fine. I went upstairs and I went downstairs to get a snack. I opened the fridge and my dad runs in and shuts the fridge. I'm like, what's, what's going on here? He was trying to stop the light from the fridge being seen by the Halloweeners. I'm sorry, right? This is just, he needs to calm down. Is it just me? He has a dad like this. Is it just me? What's that? I wanted to give the candy to the kids. And my dad was like, shut the fridge. Shut the fridge. That light is so strong, you'll attract them all here. Like we'd open the fridge and then a mob would just descend upon the house. No, right? We live on a corner as well, so we don't get many anyway. I think we had one person that rang the doorbell, and that wasn't even when the fridge was open. What? Terrible, right? Today, right, I dropped my iPhone on the floor when I was using the calculator. Don't ask me how. I drop it a lot. Yeah, I picked it up, and it was landscape. I picked up, had a look. It was a scientific calculator. Is it just me that didn't know this? If you go onto your iPhone, I think it, I think it's all iPhones. It works on mine. When I was at school, we had to pay fifteen pounds for a scientific calculator. You are telling me the kids now have them on their phones? I'm very jealous. I'm very jealous. We could do cos and tan on the bus now. C can you think of anything more fun? I can't. Is it just me that gets pillow now? I do my nails at stupid times, sort of midnight. Go to bed, wake up, you've got the imprint of the pillow pattern on your nails. Is it just me that thinks we should like bring this in as a trend, just so I'm in trend for once? It's constant. You it always looks like the textured slightly. It's not on purpose. It's because I'm a tramp. Is it just me that hates it when you get a free sample and it tastes like crap? It should be illegal, right? The point of a free treat or a free sample is that you're trying it and thinking, oh my god, let's go back there, that was amazing. Not, oh my god, it tastes like vomit, I don't want to go back there. My example is this, right, I went to Holland and Barracks with my sister and they had those little plasticky cups at the front of the shop and it says free samples, try it, there's a picture of a squirrel with a nut, you're like, hey, if he's having one, I will. So you get nuts, you get raisins, it, it's just a delight, right? My sister said to me, Oh, it's great, their free samples are amazing. Last week I had some Gucci berries and I say, I don't know what, I think it's goji berry, not a Gucci berry, <laughs> I've just said that. I'll probably leave that in as well just because I'm an idiot. I ate it, it was a little rice cracker and it was round and it looked sort of orangey. I thought it was a sweet treat, okay? I'm all down for a sweet treat. I love my sweet treats. I put it in my mouth. My sister ate one as well. I nearly threw up in Holland and Barrett's, guys. I know it was only at the front because the sell-by date was nearly up, right? We know this now. The only word that me and my sister could think to describe this treat, this free sample, was farty. <laughs> okay? We ate it and we couldn't get rid of the taste and there were no free samples of drink or no free samples of something to get the fartiness out of your mouth. It was disgusting, right? 
it annoyed me because a free sample should be a good treat that makes you want to go back. Not a farty treat that gets stuck in your teeth and then your breath hums for the next hour. To go on a drinks trek, we had to find the strongest juice we could think of to get rid of this taste. Did it work? No, no, you downed the bottle of drink and then the taste came back slowly like a haunting mist. Is it just me then that hates free samples that are bad? I think it should be illegal. There should be some sort of system that you have to pass for it to be a free sample. I'm not going back to Holland Barracks. I ain't buying those. I don't know what they were. It's, it was sort of spicy as well. I don't like spice. You just, you're, you're making it worse. Don't put chilli on it if it already tastes like crap. There's a tip. What's that? Is it just me, but if my parents aren't home or I'm the last one going to sleep and I'm downstairs, we always turn all the lights off, obviously, because it's bedtime, people. Let's save the electricity. So I'll turn all the lights off, and I'll be fine on my walk from my chair to the staircase. But as soon as my first foot hits the bottom stair, I will run up those stairs so quickly. Is it just me that thinks my ankle's going to be grabbed, or someone's chasing me? I've been in the room for like two hours. I know there's no one in here. I know there's nothing here. Is it just me that will run up the stairs, ridiculously quick, trip, and then as soon as I trip, I'm like, that's it, I'm a goner, they're gonna get me. They've got me now. Like, there's some sort of murderous person behind me. I know it's not just me, because what is it in our minds that makes us think we're being chased as soon as it's dark and we're going upstairs? I don't like stairs anyway. I've been trying to get my parents to get me a Santa stair lift for years. That's the main reason. <laughs> I don't want my ankles being grabbed by imaginary ghouls. One other thing before I go is this, right? When um, I was younger and we had a really cute Windows 95 computer, you used to click on the corner, there was a picture of a little printer, you click on it and then you go into stats or something and then you could see a drop down of what your ink levels were. It was brilliant, it was easy, right? My mum, I heard her swearing at the printer the other day, so I went in and I said, what's going on here? And she said, look, the ink levels came out funny and I'm trying to replace the inks. And I said, that's great, what do you mean? And she showed me this. This is a printout of the ink levels. This is so pointless. I can see why, because obviously you'd see which one is lowest, but you're wasting the other inks. Is it just me that thinks that's ridiculous? It's stupid, right? I'm done, guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. Uh, this was Is It Just Me Part 4. Uh, comment, like, subscribe, whatever you like. But um, yeah, share it if you liked it. Thanks, guys. Bye.